Uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield my time to my colleague, Mr. Barr. Uh, thank you. I uh, appreciate my friend from Texas yielding. Um, uh, Ms. E. Bashina, I wanted to explore this issue, which I think is a very important one you raise about um, lack of visibility, because, of course, that was a major problem during the financial crisis, the lack of uh, visibility with respect to RMBS and originate distribute, uh, the originate distribute model. That's not what we have here. We, we have, the, the, this is not originate distribute. These are professionally managed and there's a high level of visibility unless I'm missing something in terms of these being a senior secured um, commercial industrial loans into companies that provide financial audited reports to these professional managers. Um, and, um, and, and there's no, they're not squared structures. There, there, there's no CDOs. There's no, there's, no, um, uh, there, there's no credit default swaps on the other end. They're just long term. So why do you say there's a lack of visibility? Or relatively speaking, wouldn't you concede there's greater visibility into these products than those subprime RMBS? On the one hand, the fundamentals are more observable of the company. But on the other hand, we have, for each loan, we have to understand 200 pages of very complicated legal language. With not only covenant lightness, which concerns very small fraction of the contract, but basket carve-outs and other forms of erosion on each one of the negative covenants. That you would need to do for 100 loans that sit in a sea law, and for each of the investors and investment grade to understand that. So that's the similarity with mortgage market. 